Well, I thought I would give another chance to do it, but uh, to uh, have another round of questions, probably I will not do that. I would encourage you to stay behind. Uh, Ismail probably will spend another five to ten minutes here with some selected audience. So I'm not going to try to summarize this very rich uh, presentation here. Uh, so you will be able to see them online uh, in the April website. But it seems to me, uh, yes, we are indeed facing some great challenges. Population is, is increasing. Natural resource space are declining. The climate change will hit us soon. So what will be the solutions? Or what will be the challenges? I think, yes, indeed, it's an economic challenge because sometimes the resources have not been allocated more efficiently to produce the maximized food. With subsidies in, let's say, Europe, subsidies in US, and meantime, uninvestment in Africa, in South Asia. So that itself, it's a misallocation of resources, so it's an economic problem. Yes, it is a technology problem. We have underinvested in agricultural research, so that's why we have seen the, the food prices are coming up, the stocks are coming down. So we do need to invest in agricultural research, particularly at a global level where we can really share the technologies uh, more widely across different uh, borders. I think it is a policy problem. We have messed up with policy. The policy should be able to help the economy to allocate resources more efficiently, but also to correct some distributional problem. I think many of you raised a question about a distributional problem. Well, on the one hand, you do have enough production or even surplus production in somewhere. On the other hand, certain population do not have economic, economic means to access to that. So it's a, it's a policy problem. And, and it is a political problem. You know, political interests are behind and lots of problems today, the biofuel, I very much agree. So the biofuel, by the way, we do have strong evidence to show that biofuel has been a strong, strong factor in causing 2007, 2008 food crisis, and again, this round. So concrete evidence to show that. So it is a political problem. I think more important, it is a, well, I think before I go to that, I think it's also a behavior problem. Can we change our own behavior? Instead of driving a big SUV, uh, can we, take public, it's a public transportation. I think we, st we should start from us. Bad habits, can we really reduce the amount of meat, or amount of um, high calorie intensity food? So behavior, it's a behavior problem. Now, fundamentally, it's a moral problem. I very much agree with you. Do we have a moral it's to abolish the hunger, poverty, totally from this world, just to, not just to reduce, let's say, number of poor by half, or reduce a percentage by half. We got to eliminate them totally together. And finally, it is a will, it's a political will. We can do all this, do we have the will? I mean, if we have the will to change this world, to change our behavior, change our policy, change our, our economic structure, the political system, I think we will. So for that, Ismail, we thank you so much. Let's give him a round of applause.